while climate change is a reality familiar to all of us, those aged 35 or younger will have experienced average global temperatures rising every year of their lives. These increases are harmful to our planet and are almost always the result of human behavior. So, what are the possible causes and consequences of climate change? One cause is that industrialist countries rely on fossil fuels, fuels formed from the remains of dead animals and plants, notably, coal, oil and natural gas. This means that excessive amounts of harmful gases are pumped skywards every day, dangerous substances pouring out as plumes of smoke from factory chimneys. Individuals also contribute to climate change in their own homes as they produce greenhouse gases in the domestic gas and oil boilers that provide their hot water and keep their houses at the desired temperature. Homeowners should be encouraged to switch to sustainable heat sources such as solar panels. Many countries, for example, Germany, are leading the way here. Trees are our most effective weapon in combating climate change and they do this in two ways. They help to remove the harmful gas carbon dioxide from the air, and they also release beneficial oxygen into it. However, trees are frequently cut down to make way for ever-increasing industrial complexes and the sprawling cities that support them. Another possible factor in climate change is animal farming because grazing animals emit the greenhouse gas methane from their digestive systems. Of course, animals are an excellent source of food, but we all need to think about reducing our meat consumption to help in the fight against climate change. In order to ensure higher levels of output for less money, modern farming methods sometimes use toxic pesticides which release vast quantities of greenhouse gases into the Earth's atmosphere. Emissions from planes, released high into the atmosphere, stay there for a long time, triggering chemical reactions that heat the planet and cause further climate change. Furthermore, in Recent times, there has been a sharp rise in the number of flights taken, linked to both the increased affluence in some parts of the world, and the advent of budget airlines. Travelers should choose airlines which have committed to reducing carbon emissions by, for example, switching to electrification, although this is currently unsuitable for flights over 1,500 kilometers. Traveling in polluting vehicles such as petrol and diesel cars produces unacceptable levels of dangerous emissions which contribute to climate change. There are many serious consequences of climate change. One of these is that, as the Earth gets warmer, ice is melting on, for example, mountain glaciers and the ice sheets covering Antarctica and Greenland. Since glaciers store around 75% of the Earth's fresh water, the Supply of drinking water for human and animal consumption is decreasing in many parts of the world, including Peru, China, and India. Ironically, it is just as the supplies of drinking water in these countries are decreasing that the population is increasing. Flooding is another serious effect of climate change, melted ice flows into our oceans and, when the ocean levels rise, the excess water pours into coastal areas. As the Earth's surface warms up, so too do the depths of the oceans and, although this may sound attractive to holidaymakers, there are serious consequences. Seafood stocks dwindle, devastating for the millions of people who rely on our oceans for their food or livelihood. Other wildlife and their habitats are affected in an adverse way, for example, one species of Antarctic penguin has suffered a population decrease of 90% and polar bears are in danger of extinction.